Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Karen Sawyer, certified balloon artist with another easy tutorial. Today we have a twist on the classic spiral balloon column. So I call this the 3D twisted spiral balloon column and it's easier than you think. Let's get started. Okay, so now we are ready to inflate our 11 inch balloons to approximately seven and a half or eight inches. And once you do that, be sure to round your balloons to get a very polished and professional look. The size of your framing will determine how many duplets you will need. In this case, with my custom framing, I have a five foot pole. So I needed 16 duplets of the 11 inch as well as the five inch. So basically that was 16 sets. For this particular design, precision is essential. So I used my balloon sizer to size my five inch balloons to four and a half inches. Again, remember to round your balloons. You will notice that I round my balloon before I size it. Okay, now once you've finished inflating, you then may begin placing your balloons on your framework. Be sure to always remember to protect the balloons from popping. You need to cover the top of your pole. So here I'm just putting on an 11 inch round and I will tie it with a flattened 260 just to be sure that it is secure, okay? So that is on there. And then I just take my 260, depress all the air by depressing it all the way down to the nozzle, tie a knot, and then I simply tie it on to the bottom of the 11 inch round and I create a knot. And now I know that that will not slide off once I place the balloons. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start placing our balloons on the frame. So this 3D balloon column will be just like the classic balloon column. However, the larger balloon is gonna stick out. That's what makes it 3D. So we're gonna go ahead and take our two duplets, right? Create the quad, place the five inch around the pole, and then wrap it one time, okay? Decision is very important. Now, I wanna be sure that this is rounded, this is squared off with my base, so I'm gonna turn that, all right? All right, so then you take your next quad, now, if you don't want to do quads and you want to do it faster, what you can do, first of all, you have to determine which way you want your spiral to go, okay? So I think I'm going to have mine go this way. So I can place this, wrap this around the pole like that, and then take my five inch duplet, and then on the other side, Actually, we've got to turn this because we want to keep our spiral. You'll just go ahead and place that on. Okay? Just like that. Okay? So you can do it either way. Whichever way works best for you. I'll show you that again because that's a little, for some people, that's a little uh, complicated. 
for some reason, I don't know. I want to show you again. So instead of creating a quad, I'm going to keep these as individual duplets, okay? So what I did was I wrapped, keep, keep the same pattern, the spiral. I just wrapped this around the pole. And then I'm coming from the other side and I'm just going to wrap it. And they meet right in the middle and push it down. And then you still have your spiral, okay? Or you can just create your duplet. As usual. And so I'm going to place this here wrong way because I got to keep my spiral and because I'm going to twist this one time when I place this on the pole I have to let me back this up so you can see I have to wrap this one time so when I put this on make sure they don't match because I know I have to do a twist and then you'll have your spiral Okay, you see that? It's starting to form. And then you just keep doing that all the way up the pole. And I'll just wrap it around the pole in one twist. And that's it. Okay. attention to your spiral. Whoops! Pops happen, y'all. <laughs> so you always make sure you have extra. If you're going to be taking these, um, if you're going to uh, be transporting your balloons and your bags, make sure you have extra so that if something pops, you don't have to stop and then take out your inflator. Um, you just go ahead and pull out your extra that you have in your bag because you were prepared. So press down and do one twist. Okay, see that? Keep going up the pole. show you one more time so I know that my pattern here my orange is on my left and my wild berries to my right and I know that when I place this on the pole because I want to spiral when I place this I don't want these two to match okay the 11 inch balloon I want those to match but these I don't because I know I'm going to do the twist I'm going to wrap it to keep the spiral and then it will match okay so I'm gonna place this uh, duplicate with the other one to create my quad okay place that 11 inch turn it so you can see onto the pole push this Try to twist so you can see. Okay, now place that in place, put that in the place, right? And then when I do that one wrap, now you have your pattern. Okay, see? All right, let me just keep going. I had to inflate some more of the five inch because I ran out and I want to share with you a little tip so I was supposed to put purple 
I'm gonna see this is not touching, but when I put the next one on, the pressure will have that go down. So, um, I was supposed to place purple instead of orange. If you tie your balloons correctly, you will be able to untie them. Now look, sometimes you're short on balloons <laughs> and so you just have almost just enough and you don't have the luxury of just throwing this to the side. You actually need this yellow balloon. So what you do, if you tie it correctly, you simply pull up on those nozzles. You see that little, that little circle, that little hole? You just simply pull it apart and then untied your balloons if you don't tie your balloons correctly you will not be able to untie them so let me show you again how to tie them correctly I do have a video on this but I'm going to show it here this is going to be a little tip so what you do is you pull your balloons I say east and west and I go north and south twice so up to the ceiling twice one two and then you just tie it okay and that's the way you properly tie a balloon so that you may untie it if you need to. All right, that was your tip. Now, when you get to this part, because you have this uh, 11 inch latex balloon at the top to protect it, it's uh there's some resistance and and pressing it down so just take your time with that you can do it all right so we have room for one more now this is a preference you can go with another one of these quads that have the eight inch and the four and a half inch or you can go ahead and end it with another a quad of just the four and a half okay so that's that's going to be up to you it's your design so I'm going to go ahead and complete this with the last one of these and that completes our 3d column now you can place a topper but if I were to place a top on here, I would not place one that just sits on the top for me because this has a lot of movement because it's a spiral. I would do a topper that continues with the swirl because it has movement. So this is going this way. So I would probably have it go. Yeah, I would probably have it go out this way because um, that's where that swirl is going. So I would have something go out that way. Okay, well, there is your 3D column. So here is another tip. Once you have finished your design, be sure you take a step back and look at the spiral to be sure there is nothing out of place. Once I finished this, I did step back and I noticed that I did not have, I believe it was the orange was out of place. Um, so I just did a little turn and put it right into place. So when you're finished, before you leave site, make sure your design is going all the way throughout in the same direction. And make sure not only do you take a step back, but take a look at a photo because sometimes you see something different when you look at a photo rather than your naked eye. Here is a variation of the same design. I used a patterned balloon to give me some texture and it's inflated a little bit larger. So play around, have fun. You are the designer. Thank you for watching.